Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is ITSP. So my name is Vivek. So uh, today's onwards, I'm going to start one series, post grade ten minute series. One topic, one uh, one topic within ten minutes, I will complete. That topic related to post grade. It's totally related only post grade. All the features, function, how to call a function, how to prepare a function, procedures. Okay. And the basic query and advanced query with the example with the notes I will share with you. Or uh, agar aapko notes hai na, to you can uh, join this iTrick study path group here. I will share the video link and as well as not as a PDF. So there you can get it. So as I said to you, this is ten minute series. I am not wasting your time. Let's start our series, guys. So. This is our channel. You are watching this video. Okay. Lots of video I am uploading. Please share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. So thanks. Let's start our uh, discussions. So just I'm um, opening, which we prepared. Okay. Document and first we are going to start select statement like this. Okay. We are going to start select statement. So we need to some increment. Let's wait some time. Okay. Just I'm doing something. Okay. Delete this. Delete this. Okay. So again, I will paste it. So the size will increase. Okay. Now, so this 10 minute series, we will discuss basic statement. Basic select statement, right? And uh, basic select statement, right? First one, select with the where clause. Where clause, how to use uh, select with the where clauses and select with the distinct and select with the order by, okay? Select with the limits and select with the offset and limit, right? So select with the aggregate functions, aggregate function. Here I am showing one function, aggregate function, uh, average, AVG. AVG function, I will show you how to use it. Or well, select with group by. So let's start our discussion. First topic is our basic statement. Here you can go. Here you can go. The select statement is used to retrieve. I mean, select statement is used to retrieve. The, suppose this is the table, right? This is the table here, one, one. One zero like uh, Ravi is there. So I want to retrieve this data to in my Postgres uh, console. So use select a statement to retrieve this data. This may using retrieve the data from a table. This is the table. So we want to retrieve the table in the database. So what is the SQL we have? Like select select column one column two how many columns you want you can specify otherwise you don't want two columns just specify star all the columns will come uh, which are available in this table like select this is the first name last name from employee table we have one employee tables in the database so i want to retrieve the data from this employee table so let's start our pz admin so those people don't know how to start with the pz admin so install the first uh, Postgres in your system. Otherwise, don't worry. I am preparing one uh, video for uh, this related to if you having uh, Docker in your system, then usually you can use uh, PZ admin uh, and, uh, and by using Docker. Run an email in the Docker and you can access that uh, PZ admin on your uh, browser. So until we can wait, otherwise we can start another topics. So with the select we have second is select with the uh, where clause select with where clause what is the select with the where clause the the where the where clause is used to filter record based on specified condition right based on specified condition suppose you want only Ravi's data right in the table this is the table like more records are there right in this table more records are there so you want only Ravi data so just you specify that Ravi name is the Ravi. Okay, if it is the unique in the table, then the Ravi will come automatically. Ravi will retrieve. That means where close is used. 
right? This is the simple statement, okay? Where we have the product. Yeah, this is the example based on the products table. In the database, I have a products table. So where the, the price is greater than 50. The price is, those price is greater than 50. That, that data I want. That's write this query on your database. Okay. Next one is distinct with that. Select with distinct. The distinct keyword is used to return the unique value in the result. That select distinct column one, column two from table one. Select distinct category from product, right? So it will return a unique, right? Let's uh, execute these examples. Perfect. Come here in the post to so the testing database. I think your product is there. So let's. See, in the GUI based, you can uh, run this type of thing. You can easily, otherwise I'm just showing the query, select a database. Here you can create any database, right click, create database, right? Like this. I'm providing your database name on honor name, okay? You can create this. I have already created, table is there. Just I, I, uh, I will use uh, the query tool, use the query tool. So first is query about, I want to retrieve uh, two columns of data. Like, uh, in the columns, we have uh, column product ID and product name. I want only these data. So just use one select, not this, select uh, product ID, product underscore ID, comma, product name, product underscore name from which table products table right we have one products table right products that's it if it's all this is fine then simple select this right because you, why in the pz when you should select if you have multiple query in the same query tool then you should select the particular query and you can execute otherwise if you only one query you have in the query tool just click on run button here you can see only two tables of data will come right so this is use of that, perfect. So next thing uh, by using a uh, where clause, right? Select with the where clause. So select, you select product, product under the score. Otherwise I don't want to, I want all the data. Select product star from products where, where price where price greater than 50, right? So, Jovi price is jada se hoga na, wo data aega apne maal, dekho. Only these three categories, laptop, smartphone, headphone having the more than 50. Then that's why the, that data will come, it's specified data. Now next, we learned what about uh, distinct, right? Select the unique, select distinct i think see this keyword distinct okay so let this thing start take a start from let's like to start from let's see what is the close we have and table name just to provide a table name distinct unique unique yeah. in the category distinct category from product they will show in unique duplicate will not so distinct select not a star uh, provide the one category here you can see the duplicate is coming so i don't want these duplicates data so just use call query distinct from what is that? Product. Products. Right? So just like this. Right now, if you are executing this, this will show you like this. Which query is executing, we don't know, right? 
last query is executed perfectly great okay perfect the last query you can see the category only the unique category is coming right electronics accessories testing ops stationery clothing books these are the unique if you want the unique then you specify the column name or if you want to specify another column like product name also then uh, product product underscore name right let's select this and execute here you can see the product is coming now here it, now it's based on uh, products it's product is not duplicated right when you're performing this product is not duplicated but category is duplicated right so this is about these three distinct and next is next is hmm. select with the order select with the order by order by we have so what is that order by the order by clause the order by clause is used to sort the result set in the ascending order or descending order if you want to set the your order ascending or descending then you use order by statement with the select suppose you want to set the data as ascending order like so just pass a s c ascending and if you want to pass descending d e s c at the end of your query now this is your syntax select column one column two from which table and order by column which column you want to order by right so let's execute this these notes i will share on that uh, same thing same okay so now select select column one product product underscore name this is our column name name and category very from product not this from from product product okay order by order by which a s c right s c just select this and execute what did this come here we have we having s c is not this s c is not uh, a s c order by is not working why is not working order by. products maybe something went to here yeah, have done something wrong okay product name price from okay 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 why because we are passing here products order by which order by just pass that uh, uh, price column name we should pass okay just select this execute this not this one what is that near syntax order by order by <laughs> not this one yeah this should work order by price right we are putting a order by price as the ascending order right now here you can see ascending order we get so uh, what is that price price based on price okay the pen notebook we didn't get a price right category okay price we need the table also price then we can see hmm. now here you can see ascending order we get first we get 2 5 10 20 30 now now we can we want performers uh, select product name underscore comma category which category this product is belong and price and from from product table products order by order by order by price 
I want to order by price. If you don't want to order by price, you can change the column name also. But you should pass these data here. If you don't want to specify that column, just pass the star, then all will come. All data will come. So now here you can pass price descending. Right? Descending. This is descending. Let's see what is that output right now. Here you can go. This is a descending order. First we get bigger value, then a smaller, then a smaller, then a smaller. That this is the way. So now this is completed. If you want to get right here, this and one more thing I want to show you, like passing the star, and I want I don't want to pass any column name here. Just pass the star, then all the tables data will come. Right, all the data will come with the descending order. Order by is descending. This is the syntax for the descending. So now with the limit, you can pass with using limit also. Here you can see. The limit clause is used to use to limit the number of rows written in the result set. Like if you want to only 10 uh, rows in that uh, particular result, then you post that uh, limit as a 10, okay? Limit as a two, then only two row is come, right? That suppose we have in the table, we have 10 rows, okay? But you want only show at a time, first time you want to show only five. Then pass this select product name, price, and from product table, like limited time, right? Just execute this, okay? Here, uh, select, from, you can pass the star from not product, product limit is uh, three. Just execute this. Now here you can see only three record is coming, right? Star means all the uh, all record, all the rows which are present in that, all columns which are present in that table. So just I want to specify the product name also I want. Product name only I want to see. Just pass this and execute. Then only this one. So this is means limit. I think you have got it. So next is offset and limit. Both the combination is there. Offset and limit. Offset is nothing but the, like I want to specify. This is the total low. I want to offset this. This. I want only see these result in my table. So we use offset as a offset, right? So means offset. Okay. So here you can see here the 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 offset clause is used to specify the starting point from which to retrieve the rows along with that limit clause, right? So now here you can see select column one, column two from table name offset. This is the keyword you can say offset value which you want to like starting point, like you want to start with the 10, 10 number. So you can pass that 10 and the limit of the number to row. You can pass the limit also. So this is the total SQL is like select product name, price from products, offset is five, limit is five. What means it start with the five numbers and only five recorded showing. Let's show the example, then you can understand. So go select any column, product name, product underscore name, okay, comma price from table, from table name, from product, products, okay, table name. Now pass the offset. Right, offset. I want to pass uh, like five and limit. Limit you can pass five. Total record with which we have here. You can see we have 11 number of record. Right, 11 number of record we have here. You can see select this and execute. Observe how many records is coming. It's coming from the SUS and only five records are showing why because we set a limit of five, but. Observing point is what, what is the shoes? Shoes start with shoes. Here you can see where is the shoes? Our six point is shoes is there. That's why after that six point only is five recorded so shoes, book, pen, notebook, and sunglasses is there, right? 
so this is use of offset perfect so now offset is completed now next is select with aggregate functions aggregate functions i will show only one function but some functions is there you can uh, uh, perform these functions okay first is sum average count min max can use to perform the calculation on that data so like sql count star as the total products from the products total products as total products as from products right so let's execute this as i will show you this is the alias name as 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 means this is a total products this is the alias i will discuss with the next sessions okay next video so let's start this select yeah, product uh, product first we use aggregate function count count star all the records i want to count here as total products okay from kis table from product tables right now select this and execute this now here how many row how many products are there 11 products are there you can use like that right and if you uh, now next is you can perform the average also select with the group by it's a group by and we didn't so group by clause is used to group rows that have same value into summary rows okay same value group by so sql column one aggregate function which function you want just pass that column okay from table name and group by column one group by column one suppose here we, we have one select category right we have category average price i want to that and prices when you using average function you should pass the numeric okay 10 as the name uh value i want okay 10 comma right how many is the, like point after the point you want data then pass that as point like 10 comma 2 then data will come up to like 2 2 like that 0 0 as average price as average price from the product product by category product by category product group by product by product group by category so this is the group by so let's execute this select select category category okay. average and here you can pass price okay price as a numeric number we have numeric right Rick or you can pass that number also 10 to okay like that numeric is the spelling is correct okay numeric as a bridge as a bridge as a this is the alias name okay this is the alias name from product tables okay as as average price price this column is so from product table products table group by group by this is group by we have group by 
category of price group by category of price category right we write this much of query if you knew in the postgres to so don't worry just learn slowly and practice this more than i will share that table of all these things i will share so execute this and then you can observe which data is coming we get any uh, issue price is not there okay 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 just we should pass price numeric perfect okay we need to pass that comma here right now here you can see the average price of your category is electronic accessory testing uh, oops and stationary clothing and books it's only show the after it's 10 digit it's a 10 numeric number is there and after the two after the two day after two the point value is showing like three if you pass here three then it's coming as a three three value will come after that point so here average price from products group by category this is that so thank you this is bind up this is the 10 minute series is going on guys so i think this, this will take a more than 10 minutes so it's okay our next video within the 10 minutes will come okay thank you thank you we will meet next video with that next topic like uh left with this only select statement with the, some operators all that's it thank you thank you for watching we will meet next video